rated T for teen. What's up guys, Grim here. I would like to introduce you to the Primalist. The Primalist is the fifth calling in Rift right now and it has a lot of good specs that you can run with it. You got insane burst single target damage, you have ranged single target damage, you have ranged AoE damage, melee AoE damage, you have a really good healing soul, you have a tanking soul, it just has everything you want for the most part. The mechanics of playing this class is a little bit different than what you're used to with other classes in that you have a focus bar that you have to use. One end of the focus bar is the fury side, the other is the cunning side. Also keep in mind that if you have your focus right in the middle of the bar, it is known as harmony state and a lot of abilities are actually very powerful once you use them while in harmony. Depending on which spec you're running, one side is more favorable to the other, but yet if you go to the extreme on either side on any spec for the most part, it will give you some kind of bonus. Take for instance if you're running the Dervish Soul, if you go all the way onto the Fury side, you're going to get a big damage bonus. If you go all the way to the end of the Cunning side, you get a big crit chance bonus. Some specs may require you to be on one side of the focus bar over the other. Take for example if all of your big cooldowns can only be used once you're into the Fury state and they will actually push you into the cunning side once you start using those abilities so you use the big abilities it will make you go into the cunning side and then you'll have to use smaller abilities in order to work your way back over to the fury side so as you can imagine the gameplay is completely different because you have to make sure that you're looking at this focus bar and actually use it to its maximum efficiency but let me tell you from first-hand experience that I was very surprised at how easy it was to manage the focus bar because it's very big, it has colors to go by, and also it flashes whenever you go from one end to the next. It must be said that the Primalist is a premium calling, so in order to play it, you have to go to the Rift Store and purchase it from one of the Primalist packages. So without further delay, let's go right into all the specs that make this such an amazing calling. Titan is a tanking soul for the Primalist and it has a ton of utility, such as Upheaval which will stun up to 5 enemies in front of you, as well as the Primal Avatar of the Ram which will heal you for 100% of your health, remove all movement impairing effects, as well as any overhealing done to you will apply a shield to you. And then it has another big ability here which is the Life Warding Beacon, which when placed onto the ground it will affect up to 5 nearby allies and apply a absorb to them every three seconds. The Vulcanus is a ranged DPS soul that is going to do a lot of damage as long as it's being used correctly. As in you need to stay in fury state as much as possible because while there you'll be able to use your big cooldowns and do massive damage to your targets. Now each of these big cooldowns are going to push you towards the cunning side so the whole goal is to use smaller abilities in order to keep into the fury state and then use your big burst and it'll pour you over into the cunning side and you need to work your way back over so it's a constant flux of back and forth and you have to try to manage it as best as you can. The Preserver is a healing soul that deals with single target heals and mitigation so it will apply absorbs to your targets in order to absorb that damage that they're going to be receiving. The gameplay is based around doing channeled abilities onto your targets that's going to heal them up and apply stacks of blossoms onto them. When blossoms are applied they allow your big heals to really be more effective as in the more stacks of blossoms you have the bigger the heals are going to be. It also has other abilities such as nurture that you can heal up your targets targets or you can actually target enemies and do damage to them instead so it allows you to use one ability and go back and forth between heals and damage. When playing this soul make sure to keep your Aflorus up which will increase the healing done as well as use your abilities that's going to apply absorbs and other mitigation. This is going to be a very fun soul in that it has a lot of utility as well. It has abilities that's going to snare your enemies as well as knock them back. How cool is it to have that kind of utility on a healing soul? Berserker is a melee AoE soul that is going to do a ton of damage to multiple enemies. Matter of fact, the more enemies that you're hitting, the more the damage bonuses there is. 
Two of the main abilities that you're going to use is called Corpse Fall and Ice Fall. And these two, while used in Fury State, are going to do AoE damage and do a lot of damage to multiple enemies. If you use them while in Cunning State, they'll be single target damage. And it will do a lot of damage there as well, but the whole soul is meant to be used as an AoE multi-target damage soul. If you use your Primal Avatar or the Tiger, it will reduce the cooldown of your Corpse Fall and Ice Fall to zero. And that will last for 15 seconds, so you can imagine the big burst that is going to be happening. The whole trick is make sure that you are staying in Fury State. That way all of this damage is going to be AoE and you're going to get the maximum benefit from this soul. The Typhoon is a ranged AoE DPS soul that's going to do massive damage to multiple targets. And it's really, really powerful and fun to play. It's a cunning based soul in that you will use abilities to work your way towards the cunning side of your focus bar. That way that you can build up stacks of turmoil and use big burst abilities to really damage multiple enemies. The gameplay with this is pretty simple in that you use abilities like Torrential Rain in order to dot up all of your enemies. And then you can go into a rotation of kind of like a builder and finisher to where you're building up stacks of turmoil and working your way towards the cunning side of the focus bar. That way that you can use your big cooldowns and really do massive damage to the enemies. Dervish is a single target melee DPS soul that is going to do extreme burst damage. This is going to blow up your target in a very devastating way. With the Primal Avatar of the Wind Serpent, it will reduce your cooldowns to zero and allow you to just burst away. And believe me, the abilities in this soul are massive. This soul is meant to be balanced between Fury and Cunning, as in you go all the way into Fury in order to get a big damage bonus, and then you go all the way into Cunning in order to get a crit chance bonus. And with those two combined, you will have a massive amount of damage that you can do. Coupled with the big burst cooldowns, that you can use this is going to blow up your targets so as you can see this is a very cool calling with a lot of cool specs and veteran players that are looking for something new will definitely find it here and also newer players are going to be surprised at how efficient this class actually is so go to the rift store pick you up the primalist calling and trust me you're going to have a lot of fun with this class as usual guys my name is grim and i'll see you next time